Why, hello there, everybody. How y'all doing? Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, The Adventures of the Dictopolis Clan. I'm not really sure what we're going to do today. Hopefully we'll pay off our debt. I've been working on that for a long, long time, it feels like. All because we built that giant, giant tower. Why don't we look at... Why don't we, why don't we take a look at the religion view? So we can see Catholics still exist around here. They exist here. They exist in Spain, but the Sunnis are taking this back. They've actually taken the territory back, but they're converting people. Uh, India is a mishmash of things. How about we look at de jure empires? We should have some de jure empires getting ready to drift, not dwift, into our situation. Like Poland here. Well, that still needs 14 more years. Lithuania needs a lot. We are, we're not at war with anybody right now. The biggest war we have is the war with our debt that we're trying to pay off. We're also raiding the Holy Roman Empire because it's fun. My Emperor, I'm pleased to report the majority of the population of Mecklenburg has been converted to the Tangri faith. I thought that happened a long time ago. It's over here in uh, Germany. Just the other day, skulking as I often do, I caught Chief Lubajimur of Crimea and my daughter in flagrante. They were doing the wee wee wee. Wait. Chief Lubiger, you, you're fucking my daughter-in-law? She's a married woman by Erlik Khan. God damn it. Why are ev why is every woman in this game a whore? Who programmed this game? Or am I just that bad in life where I always automatically pick the whore? Like, literally, she just got married to my son. And she's already whoring around. I'm going to expose the scandal. Yep, you're an adulteress and everybody knows. Mm-hmm, you fucked around. If your son wants to keep you, that's his choice. You're a giant whore bag and you're ugly. My poor son. Victory! Uh, at the siege here. We raided a bunch more money. You can see their city is burning. And we are almost out of debt. At this rate, another month, month and a half, we could hypothetically be out of debt. Now it's still going to take a while to build up the financial reserves we both want and need to ensure a safe transition for a son who is married to a whore. Radigan's been there. One of these was a whore. I think that one. She died a natural death. Was that the one in prison? No, this was the whore. She died in the dungeons. Though oddly enough, the whore is the mom of Flash, the future emperor, whose new wife is a whore. Tradition of, uh, you know, marrying whores. Oh, we're out of debt! We are out of debt! As soon as we're done raiding the bishopric here and the barony, we'll call back, or at least the bishopric, we'll call back these troops and send them home because they're vassal troops. There are no big factions yet. The independence faction is growing a tiny bit. We have a whole bunch of negative things in our home territories. Like, if you look at Sophia, uh, Thieves Guild... Hurts taxes. Incompetent ruler increases revolt. Smuggler's ring hurts taxes. Or time to build things. Uh, highway robbers hurt supply limits. Because for the longest time we couldn't afford proper sheriffs and the like because we were broke. Somebody usurped a title. Don't care. Come on, we want to get this done too. We want to be out of debt, out of debt. So we can start to hire sheriffs and the like to bring calm and peace to our home territories. Because that'll help us make a lot more money too. Ooh, a truce with... Fish lover. Koala. Good for him. And eventually there are some duchies we want to form here from the wars we fought there that we unfortunately do not have the money for. My emperor, I'm pleased to report the majority of the population of cost trauma have converted to the Tangri faith. That's sweet. Yes, soon they will all be Tangri. They must know the power of the Goose God. They will get goosed at church and they will enjoy it. Ooh, we're pretty close on this bishopric too. We're going to come back with some sweet Catholic stuff. I don't know. We'll have some cool drinking cups for communion. For that us, that means anytime we want to get drunk. Sweet. Alright, Vassal Troops, you can come home. 
We're going to pull our retinue off the border and bring it back to our home territory. And why don't we tell the troops of our vassals to go home? That'll make our vassals more happy in the long run, because some of them are not happy that their troops have been raised for so long. I've noticed that Marshal High Chief Radis love hard work. I've noted his hard work, and everyone seems to like him. I'm deciding between having my Marshal heighten the morale of the troops, or recruit more soldiers. Well, we have enough soldiers. Why don't we have him heighten the morale? I doubt that's going to matter a hell of a lot. Ooh, we are in the black. We are financially viable again. Man, we were broke for a long time. We still have to have enough money, though, where we can bring peace to our region and bring in more taxes. Once autosave is done, I wish we had some little neighbors around here that were worth beating up. We could go here and start a war with these guys. I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not. Another thing we can do, you can see we're over a vassal limit that does hurt us. There should be a duchy around here like Chud that we can form. How much will it cost us to create it? Uh -huh. um, 100 gold? Alright, we're going to create the duchy of Chud. Emperor Radigan in the Wise has created the duchy of Belo Ozariro. So who do we give it to? Do we give it to this guy, this scruffy looking dweeb? Who married his cousin or something? This old guy who didn't marry his cousin? Or this dweeb who didn't marry... Oh, why does everybody in our family... We'll give it to this little inbred hillbilly. We will grant you the Duchy of Belo Ozeroro. And we are closer to being under the limit. I thought they'd drop that more down. I think we we're four over? I don't remember. And then we can create... Oh no, we'd have to usurp this title... And we can't. Uh, and somebody already owns that touchy. I'm confused about what we used to own and used to didn't own. Oh yeah, here's another one. But Barmer. Uh, we can't usurp that for four years for some reason. I don't know why that is. And the, did we own this before? Yeah, there, there's a guy who was already the high chief of that. So we were only able to make one, I guess? What about down here? We already looked at that. How is that not all under there? Who do you report to? You guys report to the wrong dudes? Whatever. Not my problem. I think there's a high chief of Ugra too. Then who do you report to, old man? Wait, you report to me. And you report to someone else. So we should be able to transfer this vassalage to this lady. It'll make her like us more. And it'll help us with our vassal limit there. You can see we're only one over now. And we didn't look at it before, but she likes us more because we did that. I know it's a little bit of micromanaging trying to get all that stuff. This guy lives here. That's the one we can't form yet. The son was born. Oh, we have a grandson. An heir to the heir. His name is Ogden, and he's a genius! It's too bad we do not have primogenitor when we get to that far. The King of Magyar. There's two little dip shit places there once. Prince Tador to marry... Get this out of my face. My granddaughter. Okay, that's cool. High Chief Marshal Radislav told me about his ideas. I couldn't really understand what he was talking about, but he was adamant in his belief that it would improve the military. 55 gold? Increases military tech spread? Okay, we'll do that. I definitely want to build up a lot more money, though. See, our monthly balance is still less than I would like it to be. Using a smuggled rope, Adeline Wolf almost managed to escape from custody, but the guards caught her in time. You should be rewarded for that. Rewarded with the oubliette. Hope you die in there. Have a good day. Ooh, we have more people we can ransom. 
Ten gold? We will take every little piece of gold we can get. As long as I don't accidentally ransom that one dude, we're okay. So many people in prison. How is this... Wait, where's that little kid go? Oh, I bet you their time in prison would be short? She's been in prison for five years, and she's seven years old. Well, almost executed here. You can go home for free, kid. To the Honorable Emperor Radigan, peace be with you. I accept paying ransom for the safe return of the Countess Pavelina. Oh, someone in the Byzantine Empire. That's cool. To the most emperor, ex or excellent emperor. Most excellent! Thanks for ransoming my kid back. Yeah, I'm cool like that. I have a feeling our neighbors do not think he's cool. We'll appoint a new commander. See, faction-wise. Small, small independence faction. Let's get that money built up. Let's get about a grand built up. And I want to eventually start rebuilding, not rebuilding, improving our own home territories even more. What's that? Oh, shit. That isn't even our war. And this guy, oh, man. He's going to be sieging our territories in the east. Well, actually, good. Attack the king of Kiev. He's an asshole. <laughs> If we don't lose, we don't lose anything. Because they're fighting for um, Ishim, which is uh, land our territory owns. Our, ter our territory. Our ally owns. Right there, apparently. Don't they already have it? I don't get what's going on out there. Don't care. The important thing is we got 300 gold. Hell yeah. Let's see if some of these negatives have gone away. Not yet. My prisoner, Cuckoo Kukachu, is complaining about her dark cell. You're 14? Yeah, you, you can go. Get the hell out of here, kid. Hmm, we should attack your dad and take his territory. Yeah, because we have raiders from up here. Where are they from? Right there? Well, we're going to wait till we get some more money. If these assholes are going to raid us, we might as well take over Finland. I mean, if they're going to be jerk-offs like that. But now is the time of peace. Thanks to my great diplomatic skill, the smuggler's ring in Dorksylvania has been destroyed. The head of the last smuggler is now riding on a pike outside the gates. Excellent. So some of these negative things, like highway robbers, smuggler's ring is gone from Dorksylvania. Uh, we still have it in Sofia. Chernobyl, Nicopolis, Adrianopolis, Thrake. And Constantinople still have some. Constantinople's just down to Smuggler's Ring and Highway Robber Band. Those will improve, though. Man, I wanted to be making more money. More money is not more problems for us right now. Let's make sure I didn't fuck things up. You are still in prison. Good, good, good. I was afraid I let that guy out. Oh man, this army is just going to tear through our territory. That's what we get for helping out the ally. Can we leave this war? Oh, the Skylords are helping him too. These guys must be pretty powerful then if the Skylords can't stop them. Kind of interesting to see the Catholics that far to the east. When we take a look at France, France seems to calm things down here in England. For a while there, England, somebody was trying to get the English throne to make England independent. Didn't work. Ireland and Scotland still went tit for tat, I guess. Who don't like some tits? The Kuman Jim, stupid war over Isham has ended. White peace. Sweet! We helped our allies get to a white peace where they lost nothing. Emperor Radigan the Wise fulfilled the ambition to amass wealth. That is awesome. I got him another steward point, I believe. Because we went from being broke to having 500 gold. That being broke stuff was not fun. Uh, we can create some duchies. We can create a new commander. We'll do that. Dan Dan the commander man. Radigan, you are the world's most boss dude. 
I would like to get this down. We're over the vassal limit and our personal domain limit. I don't mind being over the personal domain limit, even though it makes people grumpy at us. Because I want that money and that power. Thanks to my great diplomatic skill, the smuggler's ring in Adrianopolis has been destroyed. The head of the last smuggler is now riding on a pike outside the city gates. How does he use his diplomacy for that? I think you should stop smuggling and rip your head off and put it on a pike. Great idea, Emperor! I'm more guessing that he assumed or uh, that he got people to rat out the smugglers. So that should help us out with money, too. Less negative things there. My liege, I wish to intercede on behalf of one of your prisoners. High Chief... No. High Chief Borgoras is a danger and a threat. Diplomatically, we're going to be like, Look, Chief Balin, I hear what you're saying, but this guy's a threat right next to the capital. we got to keep him in there. And because we have good diplomacy, it'll work. And Balin's like, Oh, I hear what you mean. Good. Yeah, I, okay. It makes reasonable sense. Of course it does! I am Emperor Rat again, and you are a little incestuous... Ooh, hot kinswoman. No, wait, must resist. Yeah, this guy needs to stay in prison. So when the next emperor takes over, that guy can't hurt us. Because this guy hates. Thanks to my great... Oh, wait, that was the old message. I was going to be like, more diplomatic great news. I like that, though. For a while, I was seriously worried... When we were thousands of dollars in debt, my liege, go away. He kissed up to the emperor or the king of Italy. Good for him. I was super worried when we were so far in debt that Radigan was going to die then, and we were going to be screwed. I would love to go on another war, but I think we need to just settle down and wait a little bit. We might eventually form some kingdoms. If we look at the Jir kingdoms, I would love to f form Bruce, Russ, as one. I thought about forming Perm as one, but that might be dangerous because it is so far away and it is so big. I don't know how developed it is. Oh, it's not very developed. This guy's got a lot of troops, though, though. 4,000. It could be a threat, even if it isn't very developed because of just how many territories there would be under it. Not bad, though. Good times. We can, we can pop the speed up a little bit more. A traveling poet who calls himself a bard has arrived today. He can be like, if he does anything wrong, I'll break every bone in his body. I think the emperor would be like, he can stay as long as he likes. Hang out, bard. Sing us a song of your land. Want to see my giant tower? I found out that High Chief Ogden had introduced the bard to the court. And I told him how much I appreciated that. Finally, someone who could sing. Now, hopefully, this isn't some sort of spy or, spy or assassin. Thank you, Ogden. You're a nice guy. Ooh, and Ogden likes us even more. He's like, oh, I impressed the emperor, honey. I knew you could do it. Oh, that guy is really nice. He sends bards. Oh, that's nice, dear. Don't eat him, you fat pig. I was going to. Maybe a little bit. His fingers in a finger sandwich. Oh, I love you. Me too. Oh, that was romantic and weird. Uh, my emperor, I'm pleased to report the majority of the population of Bajamaria is converted to the Tangri faith and Shud. Can we get rid of that message? These are areas up here that we took. Uh, Chud's right here. All this we took rather recently. And so much of it is already becoming Tangri. Because it's way better than a moose. A goose god is best. It can fly. A moose god can't do that. Moose god's good jerky, I guess. But... Radigan the Wise is 74. Man. He is truly one of the greats. Like Dongris in the second. Like Emperor Bernie. Look what a prestigious line he comes from. Well, it's not that long ago. I say that that many Dongersons. All back where it started with Mr. Dan Dan the Potato Man. The little county of Sophia, which we still have. 
He was like the one of the few or only Tangries in Bulgaria at that time. And now everywhere is Tangri. Well, not everywhere. My sweet giant Ganna, the fat wife, is terrifying when she wants something. I'll eat you. There is nothing she wouldn't do to make me bend to her will. Don't peg me. Now she wants me to make one of her friends Chancellor, but Chancellor Lexi is a very competent man. Alright, so... This is our Chancellor, Alexi. His diplomacy is 20. Our fat wife wants this guy, our son, to be the Chancellor. No, no. And it's her stepson. No, I'm sorry, your friend, my son. You better not be fucking my son. You can. His wife's a whore. That would be nasty. Alright, we're over a grand! I know it's a little quiet right now. We might bump up the speed a little more. It's gonna be probably the highest we've ever run the speed thing. Just kind of enjoying some peace in the realm temporarily. Not something we get to enjoy a hell of a lot. My liege, yes, yes. Let, let's see, how much does the King of Italy love us? A hundred percent! He's only got 5,000 troops left? Man, he lost a lot of power when the um, Sunnis took his land from him. Mayor Colajan approaches you and presents to you a request to buy a small plot of land in Sofia. No, we do not need the gold. We'd get less castle taxes. We're good, dude. We got money. In fact, we're doing way better than we were before. Almost good enough. Ooh, we are at our vassal limit. Somebody must have usurped something, or something must have fallen out of the kingdom. Somebody must have inherited something. It worked out. Sometimes problems solve themselves. Oh, apparently there's a rebellion over here in Flanders? Most interesting. Auto-saving was not most interesting. I'm like, can you hurry up? God dang it. Well, everybody, this might be a little bit of a short episode, but this is going to be it for me. King Radigan enjoying his twilight years, 75 years old, and going strong. He's outlived like three wives, three kids... Wait, this he's got a son without any territory? Oh, we didn't get Bernadine territory? I'm sorry, dude. I feel bad. <laughs> oh well. Maybe next time if we take over some territory. There might not it might be a while before our next war though. I'll see y'all next time, hopefully. Thanks for hanging out.